హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు స్పిరిచువల్ మోటివేషన్ ఛానల్ టుడే ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు కన్వే ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ హిందూ టెంపుల్స్ టుడే హ్యావ్ యూ ఎవర్ థాట్ ది హిందూ ఎన్షియంట్ ఓల్డ్ అండ్ టెంపుల్స్ హ్యావ్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ బీన్ బిల్డ్ ఓన్లీ ఆన్ ద సీ షోర్ ఆర్ ఆన్ ది బే ఆఫ్ రివర్ హ్యావ్ యూ ఎవర్ థాట్ వై ఇస్ ఇట్ లెట్ మీ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ comparatively a nuclear reactor will always be built on the sea shore do you know why because the nuclear reactor receives huge huge amount of radiation it releases huge amount of radiation that is why it requires water to absorb this radiation energy that is why the nuclear reactor has always been built on the sea shore similar concept if you apply here also the ancient hindu temples are nothing but cosmic energy centers the temples which has been built thousands of years back they would have been receiving the cosmic energy from cosmos from thousands of years so that is why it requires water nearby to absorb the huge amount of cosmic energy that is being received into the temple and these hindu temples are being built as per agama shastra which is the ancient hindu scripture written to give guidance on how to build temples to receive the huge amount of cosmic energy so now let me go a little in depth and explain you how the cosmic energy is being flown into the temples if you observe while building the temple beneath the idol of the god and above the earth in between of the idol and the earth they place a copper plate by writing shri chakra on that and we all know copper is a good transmitter of the energy and even in electric wires they use copper to transmit the energy from one object to another object so same concept if you apply here the copper plate receives the earth gravitational energy from the earth and it pass on to the idol which is above right above it so here copper plate transmit the energy from earth to idol and the god's idol is being received with the cosmic energy from the bottom by using the copper plate number 1 and number 2 if you observe the garbhagudi that is being built on top of the god statue that will be the shape of the garbhagudi will be something similar to a pyramid and we all know that the pyramid will receive the cosmic energy from the cosmos from the sky and it pass on to the object which is right beneath the pyramid so this is how the god's idol is being energized from the top by using the pyramidal shape and it's being energized from the bottom by using the copper plate so this is how the god's idol keep getting energized from thousands of years and let me go a little more depth whenever any devotee comes to the temple he takes dip in the water nearby the river or sea shore three times and he enters into the temple by removing the shirt and the devotee takes three rounds of walk around the garbhagudi or idol of the god did you ever observe what is the science or secret behind this let me go more deeply friends and let me explain you when the devotee enters into the temple with a wet body and by removing the shirt and i told you the water will absorb the energy here when the body is wet the cosmic energy which is there in temple is being absorbed by the wet body and human will have seven chakras in a body chakras are nothing but energy centers or energy junctions these chakras receive the energy from the temple so the chakras are right from muladhara which is at the bottom of the spine till sahasrara which is there at the top of the head there are seven chakras in the body it's called shad chakras as per hindu scriptures so when the cosmic energy touches to the body of the devotee these seven chakras get activated and when these seven chakras are energized the human being will attain the divinity the will power will increase within the human being the energy levels will go up drastically by frequently visiting to the temple to the ancient hindu temples 
this is the secret behind removing the shirt and taking the dip in the water and entering into the temples and to further extend this topic did you ever observe the priest in the temple will be pouring the water on shivling or pouring the milk on shivling or pouring panchamrut which is made of milk banana sugar and ghee etc did you ever thought about this secret why is it like that let me explain you the secret friends the shivling which is there in the temple from thousands of years kept on getting energized from top and bottom continuously from thousands of years so this shivling needs some cooling system otherwise this bundle amount of cosmic energy can't be sustained by the people around it so that is why the priest will be keep on pouring the water on it keep on pouring the milk or keep on pouring pan panchamrut on the shivling so this is nothing but giving a cooling effect to a highly energized object which is nothing but shivling or the idol of the god and one more secret i will reveal today did you ever thought the ancient hindu temples like tirumala shabarimala kedarnath badrinath etc were being built on the top of the hills the reason behind this is when a temple is being built, built on top of the hills at the very high level the cosmic energy that is being received to the temple will be multiplied it will be huge and it will be bundled that is why if you observe these temples tirumala badrinath kedarnath and shabarimala the people visit there like anything matlab many people will be going there every day lakhs of people will be visiting that place every day and the devotees say that from the day i started going to tirumala i am able to achieve everything the only reason behind this is friends that human being who is visiting these temples frequently on top of the hills or ancient temples that human being is getting energized all his seven chakras are getting activated that is the reason he is able to achieve material things he is able to achieve spiritual things because his will power will increase the cosmic energy will increase within a body this secret will will help you to achieve material things as well as spiritual things so friends keep visiting to indian ancient hindu temples and especially the temples which are there on top of hills like tirumala shabarimala badrinath kedarnath etc and even vijayawada etc so this will make you energized kindly utilize this energy improve your will power activate your chakras become a divine human being and you will become a successful in every matter that you step in if you like this content please like share and subscribe my channel thank you